Hi there, um, and welcome to our next week. I'm just going to show you some progress that I have or haven't made. Um, so this was my wreath I did, uh, and it's too chunky to go into my journal. I don't know what I'm going to do with this because I've kind of done the cover. So don't know that this is going to go anywhere, but we'll see. It might. Um, this one I really haven't done much on at all. Needs some major work. I have to decorate my tree and then do some more embellishing. I did start stitching on here, but it needs a lot more work. I've even got, even got a thread attached. All right, now this one, I pieced this block together but wasn't using it for anything, so I quite like it. They're sort of neutrally colours. I think I might put my snow globe here. So I haven't done any more on my snow globe yet, um, but that's the block that I think I'm going to work on. So move that one to the side random piece of fabric this one pretty much done but what I what I need to do is I'm going to do some stitching on this pink possibly in red tones to bring it into more of a Christmassy color and the leaves and I thought I might maybe embellish a bit more I'm not sure we'll work that out okay so that's the cover and I haven't done anything to the back yet but we'll get there okay this one was the one that was supposed to have my wreath but as I said too chunky it's quite a small page as well when you look at um, like some of these pages that I'm doing it's quite a small one so I'm going to have to add some extra around it um, so what I think I might do like even with a chunky wall I'm going to make a wreath around Santa and embellish so work to do on that one this one is done I just need to as I've said before stitch on my number so I might even get that done tonight and that one will be done Okay, this one I've actually been working on this week. It's taking a really long time to do all this stitching, but I think it's going to be worth it. Um, so still working on this gradually, I'm going to embellish all of the flowers and leaves and birds, and then I probably need to add something else to make it interesting. So work in progress. Tag, done. Little tag. Envelope is done. Haven't made anything to go in it. Was going to make a gingerbread man. I'm almost thinking I might just slot my tag in there. It's a good size for it. And then that will be stitched onto the edge of a page. Um, pocket. Done. What was I going to put in there? Well, oh, maybe my tag was supposed to go in there. I think it was. Was it? I can't remember. Anyway, maybe tag's supposed to go in there. And then something else needs to go in the envelope. So I've still I've got a lot of work to do. Now this page I thought was done, but I feel like my holly and my berries are a little bit boring. So I think I might do some embroidery on my leaves and maybe some beading on my berries. And then I think that one will be finished. So that one won't take too long. Um, I really like my nutcracker page. He's, he's cool. I like him. So he's done. Nothing else I need to add to him. Okay, my, look how tiny my page, my original. That was my first size of my journal. Um, that page is done. I will need to layer some stuff around it to bring it up to the same size. Okay. House page, done. Finished that this week. I just added some buttons and oh, some little buttons on the doors and did some window stitching. So that one's finished. And now this is the one from last week. So I've stitched him all down. Whoops. I'm just going to move all my blocks out of the way giving you a progress update so you can sorry just show you when I add all my blocks together you can see my journal is going to be quite chunky so I think next week I was going to show you this week myself putting um, my journal together but I've still got too much work to do on blocks so I think I'll focus on that and then next Wednesday I'll come back and show you um, where I'm at uh, I'll talk to Rach. I'm not sure that we'll do a video the week after just because it's um, it's after Christmas and we're going away. So I don't think we will. I think we might start focusing on the new project. Anyway, that's the idea. Um, so this is my bear block. He's all stitched down. Now he just needs his embellishing. Um, so I did this one and then my son suggested that he would have been cute think you suggested Jamie he would be cute in a koala bear so what I did is I decided to do one in a koala as a koala bear as well and here he is I think he's so cute look at him he's 
got fluffy ears. And look, this is like our slow stitch sampler where I've done some basic stitches to give him his ugly Christmas jumper. He's got fluffy ears and his pink or his cheeks. And then he's got, I did little um, turkey work for his pom-pom on top. And I've just made him into a tack. So I think he's super cute. I'd actually love to make one of these for everyone to hang on their Christmas presents as their tag with their name on the back. Um, the only problem is they take a while to make. So now what I need to do is finish off my bear. He's going to have the same style of stitching um, on his jumper. Um, and he need to make a pom-pom on the hat and then just embroider his face and he's done. So uh, that's what I thought I'd do today is just show you some of the things I did on my koala. I'll show you how I did them and put them onto my bear. So first thing is I've got this. This is a lovely hand dyed wool. I think it's eight ply, this one. I'm not a wool expert, but I'm pretty sure this one was eight ply. So first thing I did with him, and I'm gonna do the same on my bear, is I couched the green wool across in stripes. So I'm going to give my bear some stripes. I'll put the wool across first and then you'll see that I couch it down. I'm just doing a very long and crooked, that's crooked, take that out and try again. Sorry. I was going to say long and straight stitch, but it's not straight, it's crooked. Okay, so let's try again. We'll go up a bit higher under his scarf. Now, will this one be straight? Yeah, that's okay. So, I'm on holidays. Woohoo! That's good fun. Um, so, what have we been doing? I've finished all my Christmas shopping yesterday. Happy about that. Just now have to wrap everything. Uh, we haven't put up the Christmas tree yet. We've said we're going to do it every day. It still hasn't happened. I think tomorrow will have to be the day. Um, so, Christmas tree needs to go up. Presents wrapped under the tree. Um, and then what else? I had lunch with some friends today from work. Good catch up with them. Um, we were supposed to play our last game of hockey tonight, but apparently we had a few girls pull out late, which is really frustrating. And so we ended up not playing the game. Um, pretty much there was only one team everyone forfeited this week because they're all short of numbers. It's, you know, it's just a social comp, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so that got cancelled at the last minute, so I didn't have to go play hockey. I was looking forward to one last game before Christmas, but anyway. Um, and then what else is going on? Not much, just chilling out, getting things done for Christmas, getting organised. Uh, we're having, we've decided to have Christmas at my place, in my garden. I have an apartment, but I do have a garden and it's a little bit overgrown, just a little bit. So Jamie and I have got some gardening to do just to neaten that up so we can get out there for Christmas. Um, and Mum and I will be getting organised with the food. For everyone, how many do we have? We have, for Christmas, we have my two brothers, their wives, and um, my older brothers. One son will come, but the other one can't come because he's working. Um, and then my younger brother will have his two little boys there, which is going to be fun and then Rach is obviously here with Steffi and Lulu and then Juju and then myself and Jamie and but on Christmas Eve we have that that's our Christmas day with mum and then on Christmas Eve we have Christmas with dad at his place and we'll have all the same people plus my stepsister and her family and um, obviously my dad and our stepmother and then we sometimes we even have my sister-in-law, my younger brother's wife, sometimes her sister and her husband come too. So usually it's pretty big Christmas Eve. That's at Dad's place. So we kind of have Christmas twice, Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day. And for all you Northern Hemisphere people, Christmas Eve usually entails the kids having a swim in the pool. It's pretty normal for us. And sometimes if it's warm enough, we have Christmas outside. 
or sometimes inside. Um, and then on Christmas Day, yeah, okay, occasionally we'll go to the beach for a swim if it's a really hot day, like down to Bondi, something like that. I know my son's pestering me to take him to Bondi. The only problem with Bondi, it's not far from us. We're only about 10 minutes from Bondi Beach. The problem with Bondi, you can't park. It's impossible. And where you do, where you can get parks at the beach, it costs a fortune. So I don't go to Bondi that often. I know some sneaky places to park, but you have to walk a bit of a way down to the beach. And sometimes you can't get a park there because it's too busy. Um... But anyway, Bondi, Bondi is pretty much our closest surf beach. But we have some good harbour beaches. So I'm going to couch down with this blue, same as what I did on my koala bear. Um, we do have some good harbour beaches, which are a little bit more easily accessible, although also very popular. So if you go early, you can get a park, but if you go a bit later, it's, it's very difficult. Sydney parking around this area at least is, is quite challenging. A lot of people come come into the east to the to the nice beaches like Bondi. Okay, just one thing that I did with my koala to try and keep my lines straight because you could easily couch them and they end up going really crooked. What I did, and I know it does waste a bit of cotton, but what I did is I did my first stitch in the middle of each one just to hold them down in place so they're looking a bit lifted at the moment but once the couching's down it'll be it'll be fine and with my koala i only had one two three four lines to couch with my bear he he has a lot more um a lot more lines because he's a much bigger jumper and then all I did in between was I just played around with some of the stitches we did in our stitch sampler. Did them in red, green and blues. And um, yeah, I think it looks cool, like an ugly Christmas sweater. So I've been resisting watching the Harry... Harry... Harry, Hazza, Harry and um, Megan Netflix doco. Um, really haven't followed their story too closely and don't really have much of an opinion. I've always liked Harry though. He's kind of been cheeky, a little bit cheeky, Harry. He's always been my favourite royal. Um, but uh, yeah, I've heard quite a few people saying it's good, so I decided to watch it, and I watched the th first three episodes this morning. I've, I'm actually really enjoying it. I think it's good to see their backstory and also their side of the story, um, because, you know, what happens in the media isn't necessarily always accurate, or we know it's not always accurate. And I'm not saying they necessarily are accurate, but it's their, it's their side, it's their perspective. So I've watched that this morning. I've actually really enjoyed it. I'm not sure when are the next three episodes coming out. Um, hopefully soon because I'm, I'm ready for the next three. We've got a few things coming out. Um, we watched a bit of the Wednesday show. What do we watch the first three episodes? We might watch some more of that tonight. Um, that's quite good. I think Tim Burton's always quite good. And then um, Avatar. Well, Avatar actually it was it, some cinemas had it on today. Um, but we're a bit busy today. And then um, I've got a couple of things on tomorrow. So I've booked on Friday to go see it in the 3D, 3D cinema. Um, but I have to say, I haven't seen the first one. I've only seen bits of it. I don't really know what the story is. So uh, Jamie and I are going to watch the first one tomorrow before I go see the second one on Friday. I've seen it. I know you've seen it, Jamie, but I need to see it, don't I? I don't think I want to watch the second one if I haven't watched the first one. So, yeah, that's our Friday activity. Okay, so I'm kind of couching all over the place here. Um, I think I'll just go along there, along there, along there, along there, etc. and just come back and do this. Um... It's kind of a funny technique, but it's just a good way to keep these centred. It holds them in place rather than going wonky. 
All right, I think what I'll do is I'll turn off the camera. I'll, I'll get on with um, this couching and I'll come back and show you some other little stitches. Okay, so I'll see you soon. All right, my couching's done. And now it's time to do some more embellishing. So just got a few um, loose threads over at the side from using them earlier. I've got this thin green cotton. I'm going to do some running stitch. I'm just going to show you a few of the different things that I um, did on my koala. And um, then I'll finish it off camera. And I'll do the face as well. Okay. So just a running stitch in a different colour. And I'm doing it close to the edge of the couching. Doing some small stitches. Okay, and I'll do the same at the bottom. So you can embellish your ugly jumper if you've done one. I've seen I've seen one person, one or two maybe, two people do an ugly jumper so far. Loving the different ideas. I knew we'd get some good ones. And some people with their finished journals, which is amazing. Okay. So leave those running stitches. I'm not going to whip those ones. I'll do some um, more running stitches somewhere else and I'll whip them. What I'm going to do while I've got the green threaded, I think I'll do some French knots. It's quite a thin cotton, so I'm going to wrap it around twice. Just seeing if I'm, am I on screen? Okay, so wrap it around twice and then back through. Okay, probably going to run out of thread here. I might have, might, will I make it? I might. So here we go, might just be short. So I hope everyone's really pleased with what they've done. I think it's fantastic that you know people have now got their books done or their um some people have done it on snippet rolls or they've done it as a wall hanging and you've finished in time for christmas what a great thing for your family and friends to be able to look at around christmas time i was just thinking today imagine how many stitches you've actually done in this project um i'd say thousands and thousands i'd have no idea how to approximate what you've done Oh, just going to make it. Hang on. 
just going to get two wraps, one, two, and through the thread, through the um, wool, oh, just love it when you use it right to the end and you don't waste any cotton. Okay, now I like I like this um, variegated one, this variegated green. It's a stranded. This is just a DMC one, readily available. Let's see if I can get it through this needle. Not quite. Try again. I think I have got it. Just got, got it. Even out my threads. There we go. Now just do some little um, leaves. I just did the lazy daisy leaves. So bring it up, do your stitch, however long you want it. Pull it through and over the loop to hold it in place. So I did three and then I did a berry at the bottom. So I'd do that again. So try and get your leaf approximately the same length. It might vary slightly. I know mine went perfect. I'm using all six strands of the stranded cotton. Oops. And then another one out to the side. Approximately the same length. And then I'll put my little berry in there. Same again. I like variegated threads because um, it gives you that color change throughout your um, your stitches. You can see there's a different color there to here. So these are all really basic stitches that I'm doing. Okay, just like in our sampler, if you did volume one of Roxy's Journal of Stitchery, we started off with a sampler doing some of our um, favorite stitches. I think we did 20. So you literally could get your sampler out and have a look at them and do any any of those stitches that you think would look good. Maybe, maybe not the weaving. You could do turkey work. You could do little turkey work circles, so little fluffy balls. color change here and 
Now with this guy, I'm not going to do the embellishment on the hat, I don't think, because the jumper's different to the hat. I might just do something on, on sort of the part there, which is the same as the jumper. Just so it looks like the pattern's repeating. I'm just going to do one more little one. Like it's continuing around the jumper. It's going to have to be a little one. Just looks a bit funny with that gap there otherwise. Okay, so it looks like there's another one continuing. Okay, so they're my little lazy daisy leaves. And again, while I've got it um, threaded, this cotton, I'm going to do some more running stitches. Um, but with these ones, I'm going to come back and I'm going to whip them. Do another line down here and through the center I think I'll just do French knots his jumper is looking very green a little bit of blue but mostly green but I'm gonna add add the red in as well and some more blue Okay, I think you get the idea for the jumper. Um, actually, I might just I might just whip those stitches just so you can see what that's like, just in case you're not familiar with how to do that. Let's get a red. Actually, I'm going to go for this one. It's a bit of a pinky red. I like this colour. Watermelon. It's a watermelon. So I'll just show you how to whip, just in case you haven't done it before. You can whip in the same colour, just thickens up your line. Um, you could do a back stitch and whip it so you don't have the gaps in between, um, but this works well. So just a tip for whipping, um, one thing you can do is use the back of the needle. It means you're less likely to um, split the fibres and you just got to be careful not to poke yourself with the other end. Okay, if always coming in the same direction, so I'm going top down to bottom, always the same direction. You could you could do the opposite, so it would look straight there, then straight there, then straight there, etc. But I'm wanting that kind of curved look. And then I tangled and then just 
put it through and then I will do the same thing on the other side. But going in the opposite direction. So butt of my needle, I'm going to do the same top to bottom. And then between these, I'm going to run, run some French knots. There's my whipping. Um, you could you could put your French knots closer together if you want a tighter whip. I've actually spaced them out a bit there, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Now to finish off, I thought I might just do my bear's face in a just a dark dark chocolate brown. So similar, similar to my koala, I have two eyes. I've got to do a little nose because this is his snout and his little face will be on here. I just have to see how we go because um, it's brown on brown and that's quite a dark brown. I'm just going to make sure that my um, thread stands out. Sorry, having trouble threading, but I've got it now. So what kind of um, Christmas thing do you guys do? Do you do um, dinner or lunch? Um, probably a lot of people have the traditional Christmas food. We have the traditional Christmas food on Christmas Eve. So we'll have the turkey and the ham and things like that. On Christmas Day, we go. We actually go very non-traditional. Um, we we do what I think a lot of Australians do. We have a barbie, barbecue, Aussie barbie, in the backyard. So uh, we will barbecue some butterfly legs of lamb. Um, I know uh, Rach and Steffi love love lamb because Australian lamb is excellent. Um, and then we will probably barbecue some kind of maybe butterfly chicken or rolled chicken. We'll work that out. Haven't decided yet. Um, and then we will have our sister-in-law, Kristen, from Canada. She makes a really nice potato bake. So I think Kristen will do her potato bake, which is a very cheesy, creamy, um, yummy it's just you want to just keep eating it but it's not good um so we eat we eat that um usually christmas as well if we don't do that we do a potato salad a yummy um potato salad um we have we have a very nice recipe for potato salad and um dessert aussie dessert aussie or kiwi kiwis will say they made it Aussies will say they came up with it, but we have the, the Aussie pavlova. Now, you can't even see those stitches on the nose. I think I'm going to go to a lighter colour because you cannot see that at all. It's too dark. So um, we have the pav. Sometimes we do the summer berry pav. Uh, this year, my older brother likes to request the pav. So Juju, you'll be making the pav. She is the pav maker. Um he has asked for uh, mango and passion fruit this year, but normally it's cherry, actually. Normally you like fresh cherries, Angus. I'm talking to Angus like he's watching, as if he's going to watch. He won't be watching. Um, no, he wants mango and passion fruit. So that's what we'll have on our path. But Jamie, my son, is the one that likes to uh, do the desserts. So last year he did a little dessert bar where he had mini desserts. He had... What do you make? Creme brulees, trifle, because my dad came on Christmas Day and he loves trifle, like the custard and jelly and that kind of stuff. 
Um, and what else? He made something else. Well, Gigi was supposed to make mini meringues. Um, and she cooked them on Christmas Eve while we were at Dad's having Christmas with him. And when I came home, they were like little squished things. And they were very chewy and we called them chewy pavlo, like chewing gum. They were like chewing gum. So they still tasted good, Juju. Don't worry, they tasted good. But they um, yeah, they didn't turn out the way Mum was planning. So he was going to have mini paths. Did we have brandy snaps last year? Maybe. Mum likes them. I like them. So we'll see. We might have brandy snaps. Just looking for some scrap. Might do, yeah, I might do his little nosy in, um, in blue. This is my little scrap felt. Never throw out your little bits. Always come in handy. All these things are from, can be made from little pieces of scrap. So I've just cut out a little oval nose. Jamie is singing Christmas carols. He is getting in the spirit. Looking forward to you coming, Rach. She's very excited. He keeps talking about it. And he's mostly excited because Jamie and Stefano, Steph, they'll be at the beach together. They'll be at Bondi pretty much every day. Jamie is an absolute water baby. Whenever anyone takes him to the beach, he goes in and he doesn't come out. He can stay in for three, four hours, no problem. Loves it. Um, so he's looking forward to it because Steph loves the beach too and they go off together which means that Rach, Mum and I and Lulu can do other things and we don't have to worry because Steffi is entertained with Jamie I'm just looking for a it's too light no these, these are just my random threads that I need to put away <laughs> that's not my normal thread box they need to um, get put away. What I'm going to use, um, just trying to find a colour that will blend in a little bit. It's a little bit dark. What do I have? And these are just some of them. I have more than this. I think that one will be okay. I don't quite have the right colour. No, that's too dark, too purpley. I'll blend this in. threading a small needle okay so I'll stitch his little nose down it's kind of a purpley blue color try to get it up to the top and just the same way I stitch down all the other bits just do the little overcast stitch on the edge, just a small stitch the whole way around. threaded my needle I'm sorry this is gonna be a longer video tonight Mm, 
he's a sweet little bear when he gets his little face finished. So nose done. All right, what color? I need a lighter color. I don't think blue's gonna look good. Maybe I need a lighter like tanny color. Mm, not that one. A bit darker maybe. I think it might be too dark. Mm, that one might do. What about I've got some grey. Hmm. I think I'll just do this tan. Just have to do like the little line and the little the little face. The little smile or whatever it is that I'm gonna do. Where's my drawing? Sorry, reaching over the screen. Yeah, I did a little smile. Sorry, stuff everywhere. So many needles. I have about six threaded already with different threads. Oh, come on. Why won't you thread? Okay, got it. All right, so little face, line down the middle. I'm having a shocker tonight, just getting tangled up. Okay. And if you find you don't see your line well enough, you can whip it just to make it in the same colour, just to thicken it up. I'm using all six strands here. Um, the thing is, yeah, I just pulled that deep into the wool now. You can't see it. I'm going to go over it, make it a bit more chunky. You can see it better. Okay, that's better. I won't pull it so hard down into the, um, into the wool because it disappears. There we go. And give him a little smile. Just attempt to make it consistent, not quite, but yeah, that's a wonky. <laughs> yeah, it's very wonky. You don't like make it 
<laughs> well, it might make it a bit better. I'm going to whip it. myself using the sharp end should you use in the blunt end okay you can just keep playing around with it till you feel like you've got it right I whip it again on this side it's just neatening up the line making it more of a solid line Okay, that side's good. Now I just need to lengthen this side a bit more. So you can see I'm just playing around with it and trying to get it a bit more consistent. That is a crooked smile. Anyway, he's got a little bit of character because he's got a crooked smile. Not so good. Any of that will do. I can't play around with that anymore. I'd have to unpick it and do it again. Oh, God. I keep poking myself with this needle. All right. I'm having too much of a shocker tonight. My crooked little smile. I might change that tomorrow. Who knows? I might decide I don't like it. So... We'll see. Koala bear was much better. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you're travelling along well with your project and we look forward to seeing some more completed. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye.